Oh, look at that. Isn't that cute? That one's 3,000. <gasps> look at this Harrods made of chocolate. So that wreath is 695 pounds. Pork and pancetta stuffing balls. What? This is the Christmas vlog you guys have been waiting for. This is the full Christmas Harrods tour. I could stand here literally for like 10 minutes waiting for all the cars to go past. But yes, um, I did do a video, you would have seen maybe a couple days ago, a week ago, of the beautiful decorations, the overlay by Dior. But in today's video, I'm gonna go around the Christmas store, we're gonna look at all the cool decorations, and of course we will hit the food court. So let's do this. Yes, if you're thinking, Hannah, I haven't seen the decorations. Go check out that video. It looked stunning at night. It was chucking it down, but it's still beautiful. But the store opens in about one minute. Yes, it is a busy Friday morning here on the Brompton Road. And there's traffic. I did actually stand at the other side of the road to try and get a photo. Oh, but the decorations still look absolutely incredible, even in the daytime. Oh, look at these windows. I can't believe this. Also, I think I said that this was plastic. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's like fiberglass. This has become a little bit of a tradition on my channel to come into Harrods, so hopefully it gets you in the festive spirit. I'm surprised how many people quickly get in here in the space of about 30 seconds, but let's scoot through the perfume hall. Oh, I love it. Oh, look at the Christmas decorations, all the garlands. It looks absolutely stunning. If you are looking for like a full fashion tour, by the way, of Harrods, oh, look, it says Christmas. Um, check out my video that I did only a few months ago if you really want to see the fashion areas. But look at the garlands. Looks so pretty. This is a good photo op. The Egyptian theme. I think the lighting in here, even outside of Christmas, is absolutely gorgeous. Like I said last time, that underneath the escalator is even fancy. Ooh, we've got some more photo ops over here too. Definitely winning coming in at opening. But look at this big Santa, Harrods at Christmas. So there's a couple of little sections. I'm gonna go into Christmas world. Oh my gosh, the last time I came in here, it was absolutely crazy busy. Oh, it smells of spice. It smells of Christmas. Right, are you ready to do this? Let's have a look at the decorations. And it looks like they have got some really clear themes. I love these stores doing lots of clear themes. Bon Voyage. Look at these crackers. Oh, people are going to ask me how much stuff is. I won't tell you how much everything is. They have no price on them. But anyway, we have got some gorgeous, gorgeous Bon Voyage. What is this theme? It looks very kind of animal inspired. I quite like this. Well, okay, yeah, I'm not going to be able to show you all of it, but we have got some real quirky um, different decorations. I really like these little bottles. Also, <laughs> to note, I haven't drunk alcohol for about three weeks. I'm trying to get to mid-December, so yeah, I won't be going to the Moe bar anytime soon. But look at this. That's so cool. I really like these kind of fabric padded ones. But yes, we have got lots of beautiful decorations and crackers. No, I want to know how much these are. These are going to be crazy, right? I don't understand. Why do you not put prices on things? But there's also a gorgeous florist in here, which we will look at momentarily. But yes, bon voyage it looks like it's kind of like an animal theme look at this giraffe he looks like he's kind of dressed up like one of the doormen here or something like that in his little green outfit but this mini wreath i guess we're pricing oh no that's a table setting isn't it one of those middle things that's 75 pounds so yeah it's not like you know it's slightly higher end of things let's be honest we are in harrods guys um but these baubles are absolutely stunning those are 10 pounds i do like the animal theme it's quite fun isn't it um i haven't really seen yeah, giraffes um, in Christmas decorations too much before. Some elephants. Everyone loves all these crazy animal themes. There was a lot in John Lewis. I don't know whether I would have uploaded that before this one. Um, but yeah, lots of really bright colours. And this this bluey um, purple has definitely come through in quite a lot of themes, uh, definitely this year. But yeah, lots of cute ones. Oh, let's have a quick look. You've got your kind of traditional London ones. There'll be way more outside, don't worry. So if you are looking for a... A London eye. Oh, I should get that for my sister. She used to work <laughs> in that world. I'm not sure about this one. Wait, how much are they? Whoa, hold on. That's 32 pounds. Let's just push, make sure that they're safe. But yes, pier promenade. We have got some quirky, well, pier related things. Look at these little, little hot dog stand. This donut one's really cute. That one is 35 pounds. Wow, okay, yeah, these are definitely um, a lot more expensive than the ones I've seen in Liberty. 
something. I mean, I guess why not? Could you imagine a whole tree? It'd be quite funny. Some soy sauce, a little sushi, oh, camembert, oh wow, yum. I do quite like the kind of old school, kind of like it's so tacky that it's fun stuff, like that kind of coloration. Little Santa there. They're all about, yeah, 35 pound-ish. I really like this idea. I think if you've got like a, I don't know if you're married or whatever, or a family, you've got like a, a surname. That would be quite fun to have. There's no one there, look at this. Beautiful, beautiful store. Some kind of nice music in the background. Can't get my words out. If you want to get like a little one of these. Hold on, what? Okay, these are 300 pounds. I will not be getting one of those. Look at that one in the case. That must be like crystals or something like that, right? Look at that, it's very pretty. Oh, look in the underneath. Oh, wait, hold on, that one's 3,000. <gasps> yes, let's stay away. Please admire with your eyes. I'm trying my best to get used to this heavy camera again, so apologies if it is wobbly. I'm doing my best, but I really like this really soft, kind of creamy pastel tree. This is really stunning, and yeah, you've got all the baubles. All the baubles this year are absolutely massive. Those are all about, you can this, about 20 pounds. Um, but I really like these little ribbons. I like I like the fabric-y ones where it's got kind of, yeah, some embroidery on. Very, very pretty. And as the crate in the background goes, we've got Regency Gala, um, which is absolutely stunning. This is definitely my cup of tea. Look at this feather wreath for £40. But yes, it's really cute. Look at this little nutcracker. He's adorable. But yeah, I really like this kind of, is this like a champagne color? This is really, really pretty. Oh, look at this with a little dangle, a little shell hanging off of it. These are exquisite. Oh, wow. Oh, that's a nice little gift. Look at that from Joanna Buchanan. That one is 40 pounds. That's a lovely gift. And there's a few different designs. Oh, I love a squirrel and a hedgehog. Look how cute he is with a fluffy tail exclusively for Harrods so yeah there's quite a few tags which is interesting to see because we are seeing some of the same decorations in these stores um, but yeah they've got some exclusive lines so get yourself down here and some gorgeous tree skirts as well love that theme look at this hamper an ideal gift for 665 pounds this is beautiful look and it's got little reindeers in oh and you can get a full box from this brand called Shishi, um, Home of Beauty. So this whole box is at 700 pounds if you just wanna grab and go. Um, but some of the packaging that I've seen, some little gift boxes, this beautiful gift box, it is empty. Wow, that is 30 pounds. So I'm gonna put that back carefully. <laughs> traditional tree I'm just trying to see if there's a name for it but this is absolutely stunning I love the traditional reds oh look at that with the gold absolutely beautiful yeah it's all about these toadstools this year interesting to see and I do really like the felt things saw these in Liberty as well potentially I've put that blog up already or that might be the next one who knows with my schedule but that is just beautiful isn't it Oh, I'm loving all of these. Regency Regala. Regalia? Saying that right? Again, very soft, champagne-y, little bit of pink, a little bit of white. I love this. Let's scoot to the side for a second. But things like this. I haven't seen these for quite a... These were massive things back in the day. I'm going to put that back because that's £79. Gorgeous. And yeah, lots of made-up boxes. Um, yeah, again, Joanna Buchanan. That is absolutely stunning. I haven't seen this brand anywhere else. Not yet anyway, um, but beautiful. Oh, I really like it when there's little animals. This is one of my favourites. I'm saying all of them are faves, aren't they? now so yeah we get a little clip on toadstool for 10 pounds um and these felt animals um are how much are these these are 14 we'll see those in quite a few places they'll have them everywhere from fort and mason liberties and even john lewis and like even like garden centers and stuff have all the little felt ones but they're so cute aren't they and i love the little is that cat Lots of dressed up animals, looking very bougie. Oh, look at these. I've never seen this type of thing before. Literally a snowman's head. Oh, well, they've got loads of felt animals. This makes me so happy. Oh, wait, look at this. Are they meant to be on a, yeah, like a ski lift or something like that? 
Oh, they're so cute. I kind of wish I'd started like buying like a couple of felt animals a year. Oh, such a child. Look at him. Are these all about 14 quid, 10 to 14 pounds. This little Robin is 10 pounds. <laughs> Get some uh, fancy looking <laughs> fruit. Um, oh, this is a little fruit section. Oh, how funny. This reminds me of the Muppets. Um, yeah, so you can get some little sparkly grapes for six pounds. I've seen quite a few people look for prices on the crackers and there aren't any, so um, they should pre-add them. But I really love this tartany looking one. That's cool. Yeah, again, exclusive for Harrods, 12 pounds. have a quick look at the beautiful florist which I think is here all year round so you have got some oh my gosh incredible wreaths so that wreath is £695 that one is 595 purpley one again 700 but look at these flowers it smells amazing so this is from Neil Strain um, I feel like they've had something like this in the store for many many years but yeah if you want to grab a little box of flowers or a big box of flowers 135 175 etc but look at this display are you joking and they have got more traditional ones this one is stunning i did actually try to book in a wreath uh, making class this year but i wasn't able to find one obviously there were classes but timings i wanted to do one on friday with my sister but we couldn't find the one that was in the day so maybe next year oh look at this tree all those beautiful ribbons i was saying i haven't seen in quite some time i feel like you've got to have the skill to be able to do this i think if i did it, it would look like a dog's dinner um but i spoke to you soon though even more wreaths oh my gosh that one is huge and so is that one and we have got some more pre-made boxes from Mackenzie childs um, but yeah lots of little bits that you can kind of just i guess shove into the, like clip onto your tree a lot of things like that this year which adds a lot of volume and um yeah texture to your tree and again some more um packs of wired ribbon i guess you would call it yeah or you can get like a little thing that's already done for 89 pounds oh wow this is very premium and if you don't want one wreath you can get three wreaths in a row i keep saying wreath wrong wreath wreath okay i did miss it at the beginning so that is a section mackenzie child's the brand so wow very very premium we are at harrods what a beautiful display so yes that is the main christmas store look how extra these cards are look at the 3d cards these are stunning look at that one how much are these should we guess oh 7.95 I don't think that's too bad because I feel like cards are all about five quid these days, aren't they? Are they all about that price? Yeah, seven ninety-five, and that's definitely something you would have up for a long time. And actually, just scooting down a second, we've got these pretend like um, snow globe ones as well. The ones with the little doggies. Oh wow! Okay, hold on. Move my camera a bit much. Sorry. How much is that? Eight fifty. They have actually got music book cards, collecting treasure. These are really sweet. So those are £14. And they've got a little Peter Rabbit one as well. So apologies if I'm talking a bit quiet. It's just it's a little quiet in here. I don't want to be screaming and shouting. Um, let's go into the main section now. Right. Do you feel poor yet? <laughs> anyway, let's have a look at the slightly more like touristy bits. They have this huge section, we're on the lower ground by the way. So yes, just come down, you can come down from that escalator and we have got this main section, um, which I don't think I actually got time to come to last year, but you have got some beautiful, yeah, I guess like Harrods splattered over them, kind of branded um, decorations, if I can see. So that's nine pounds um, and that's plastic. So yeah, if you've got a cat or something, probably <laughs> this is a better idea but you've got lots of iconic london related ones look at that that's so cool very eastenders all kind of get in focus there we go and we will go up in a second um but we've got loads of the food court stuff so if you don't want to kind of brave the food court you've got loads of the gifting items you can tell by the kind of uh, beautiful red packaging um they always have gorgeous packaging look at this purple I love that flipper neck, that's heavy, that's lovely. So yeah, always a really great gift. And also if you're watching this, if you are maybe going to Heathrow, there's also a Harrods at Heathrow and you'll be able to get kind of gift food like this. I'm actually saying that, there will be a Heathrow vlog coming soon. But yes, you have got loads of cool decorations. There's probably some royal, yeah, some royal bits in there. That looks 
like a fancy one that one's 20 pounds so yeah a little bit more dare I use the term reasonable in this section um, but lots of Harrods branded look at that one with the nail varnish and the glitter and if you're wondering why I'm talking so much it's because I'm just trying to block out the music in the background so bear with um, but as usual every year there are lots of Harrods uh, baubles in loads of different colors so um, yeah you can match it to whatever your theme is oh how much is it 12 pounds which I think is how much they were last year. So they come in a little box, a nice little gift. And then if you want something a little bit different, I think um, it's nice to see, oh, what's this? A little, can I open it? I did try to open it, I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, there's some other little decorations that you can get. Again, lots of different colored themes. They've got quite a lot of stockings as well, which are nice. They look like they're 35 pounds. And then the iconic green, which is the color for Harrods. Um, I, yeah, I don't remember this a couple of years ago. Might be mistaken, but I really like this kind of matte one. That's really pretty. And even the see-through one's nice, it's a bit smashed up, but very cool. And of course, there's lots of touristy bits, which I personally love. Get yourself a little sparkly Big Ben, I guess, why not? This is quite a nice idea. You get, um, yeah, four little decorations, little teddy bears. But yes, there are tons for every color that you want. this is new and correct me if I'm wrong because like I said I didn't come down here last year but they have a Christmas kind of not a bag for life but you know what I mean like a proper plastic tote these are quite iconic um, for the store and quite a few stores around the world there's a Christmas one a small one is 30 pounds but it's got a hard bottom in it as well so that's quite good and there's a few different types and sizes and then a few more of the bigger baubles we've got a little some ladies outside Harrods being all fancy and um, this is nice. I like the gingerbread style. I mean, how many times did I say gingerbread in my vlog the other day? So you, this is so nice. Look at the box. It's stunning. And there's a few different... Oh, get it back in the box. There's a few different designs. So, um, yeah, that's really cute. And it comes with a little Harrods ribbon. And here's the example of the little bear one. And yes, they're a lot more premium. Those are £45. Um, and then you've got those bags as well. These are really good. Actually, everyone's going to ask me how much this one is. That one is... Th that really 35 pounds what was the other one 30 that's a really good size and i would say with a strap that long it's really good because you can actually put it on your shoulder so and then louis which is the christmas um uh harrods bear for 2022 he is 35 pounds so he's quite a substantial little cuddly toy and his little jumper comes off always oh, heavy is so sweet and incredibly soft so um, you have got a few different sizes as well small medium and very large so you get the, the big one there for five I can read that 500 pounds it's getting a little bit busy so I'm glad I came when it opened honestly these decorations are stunning I don't want to call them garden they're just I guess wall decorations look at that so pretty look at the entrance of the beauty hall oh so pretty. Every year, actually, every so often I go to the food court and I buy loads of stuff and I show you guys I actually don't need to buy anything today, which probably is, doesn't make for exciting viewing, um, but I'm going to show you everything um, because I don't need the food right now, so I'm going to come back another time and get it, but I did have a sneak the other day. You're in for a treat. Look at this. I probably should have checked my vlog from last year, but I'm going to start with the chocolate haul then we're gonna go into the fresh food and then into the bakery but can we just acknowledge i'm not going to try and pronounce this chocolate brand look at this harrods made of chocolate we saw a lego that was liberty the other day blimey these stores are really stepping up their game look at that but yes the chocolate place uh section in here is absolutely insane they have got so much and i always love the little harrods red ribbons that they add on everything it is the best of the best in here you have got um kind of different brands different chocolate brands almost like a bit of a food haul to be fair this brand i, I love but it's really really expensive so this little tray of chocolates it's quite heavy that's 35 pounds so yeah it is obviously more expensive than a supermarket um, we're used to quite cheap chocolate here in the uk and if you're lucky you might see them actually make some of the chocolates here um, it smells insane you can see some over there in the tray oh my gosh yum indeed we've got a few more displays in last year i think so we've got the harrods chocolatier chocolatier i can't even talk russia christmas tree gosh try saying that after a few drinks look at that that is absolutely stunning you're gonna just have to see it like that but yes they've got so many little gift grab and go things i guess stocking fillers little 16 pound um yeah little box there this is not very exciting um for you to hear but i am trying not to eat sweets and chocolate until the 
like the week of Christmas so that's probably not going to happen let's be honest but the time of filming this I'm not going to be grabbing anything oh look at the little chocolate whoa £6.50 I mean this is just getting a bit ridiculous now I think it's hard because yeah like you can go to like Tesco and get a huge thing of dairy milk and I love dairy milk and galaxy are my absolute fave so sometimes it's a bit like I think I'd rather just have that but this stuff is insane imagine being gifted this look at this i mean i don't even know where i put it to be fair the pyramid box price on request jesus you know it's gonna be a lot oh look at this little advent calendar from pierre marcoloni uh for 54 pounds for 24 chocolates but yes yeah, so you've got lots of different counters you can come and have a browse they're like super nice They've got a lot more kind of Christmas specific things. Um, like I said, 150, oh geez, 150 pounds for that tree. And then it's got a couple of trays of little chocolates. Oh, look at this, limited edition holly wreath, 80 pounds. Jesus, um, apologies for my language. Um, Slabels, 10 for 15 pounds. Um, I do absolutely love macarons. Oh, yum indeed. And there's another macaron section in a, min in a minute. I do kind of love the packaging almost as much as everything else. Look at this green ribbon with this beautiful design. Oh, that is absolutely gorgeous. I'm sure the chocolates are lovely as well, but I think for me, packaging is a big, big uh, part of this, isn't it? Let's be honest. You get three stuffed they dates, I guess, for £12. I say it every year. We love a slab of something. <laughs> I feel like you're kind of being healthy. Red fruits, £75. We can get a little one there for 15. I'm basically looking for everything with a red ribbon because I have done a full tour of this Christmas haul. So do go and check out my other videos. I'll pop them at the end. Look at that. Oh my gosh, actually, I don't want to touch some of this stuff because I'm scared I'm going to break it. And Venti, uh, their packaging is always absolutely stunning. It's very kind of traditional, um, yeah, Christmas. So they definitely are a top winner for <laughs> how gorgeous all their packaging is and I really like that every brand is really really different yeah they have this crazy pick -a mix by the way guys um, so you can <laughs> maybe not let your kids go wild oh my god it's so sweet I love it but yeah they've got a little Christmas stocking there for £20 I always say these little books are adorable there's so many Christmas boxes this year oh my goodness it's a good idea because I think people wouldn't really know what combo to buy and it's good to know it sounds silly just like what you're going to spend you can just grab a box and know there's a lot of advent calendars still in here um, I'm quite surprised yeah then you've got all the counters so you can grab what you want oh look at this oh my gosh look at that biscuit show you everything in here guys there's actually so much Christmas in here I mean who doesn't need a peppermint cookie truffle hanging bauble in their life for £10 they literally have got Christmas assortment and there's a lot of Peter Rabbit as well love Peter Rabbit so cute if you do want to grab some chocolates I always recommend the Harrods chocolate counter I think it's relatively reasonable um, oh my gosh look at those chocolate strawberries chocolate pieces made in house. Can you see that with the reflection? These beautiful flowers. Oh my gosh. I'm definitely gonna have to get some snacks from the food court on the way out, the food hall, sorry. You can personalize a slab of chocolate. See, a lot of this is often here. And what we're gonna look out for in the food hall is they have these red cards, which is like Christmas specific. So we're gonna keep an eye out for everything that's Christmas. And yes, you can do self checkout at Harrods been there a while but if you want any I guess these are quite good stocking fillers for seven pounds you've got different jellies and things like that and lollipops for four pound fifty but something um, a lot of people always want to get are the chocolate coins so you've got Belgian chocolate coins milk chocolate coins for how much of these six pounds or you can get it in a little cute bag little money bag it's pretty quite good for keeping pocket money for ten pounds and we're gonna finish off the chocolate tour with a five thousand um, pounds yeah if you can see that through the reflection a chocolate merry-go-round on the top of the Harrods store. I mean, I guess not limited edition, I would have thought so. 
look at that. It is amazing. Let's stick on the theme of sugar. So yes, you've got this whole massive corner of Christmas, which they have every year. Honestly, they need to put like a hamper or build your own afternoon tea there, but that's just my personal ideas. Beautiful wall display. And I'm gonna very quickly mention, again, for like the 10th time, this is the old tile design of Harrods. So the hall that we were in momentarily ago, um, uh, the Fresh Hall, is the new design. But yeah, have a look around this store. It is an architectural masterpiece. Oh my gosh, how is there no one here? Okay, guys. Let's go cake blitzing. So they have these um, beautiful things. You take a ticket, a bit like Tesco back in the day for the deli. They have lots of desserts. I would recommend sharing them because they are quite big and you get to try a few different ones. So they are eight pounds. They do vary in price, but again, we're gonna look at that red ticket. So you've got a Baba trifle. I think that's how I pronounce it. Uh, chocolate profiteroles. Profiteroles, I think, are my favorite. Oh my gosh, so some of these are new, which is exciting. So your log individual. I mean, why not? A tropical snow pal. Oh, he hasn't got any eyes. The depressing thing is they put the calories on everything these days. It's a legal requirement now. Um, caramel bauble. I've definitely had one of those before. Would recommend. And then you've got some standard ones which are here all the time. But I usually get, I'd say, four between like six people and it goes down quite well. Is that a better view? Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm actually able to film this without people all over me. The boxes, by the way, if you are traveling, just a recommendation, they literally sell a tape, like the card underneath. So you can like carry them on a train and they're not gonna get too smashed up, so don't be too worried, but don't hold me accountable if you, you, you squash your bitter rolls. Lots of pre-made um, like cakes, which you can grab. Uh, I know these aren't Christmas, but I always think these are quite nice. Very heavy, substantial cupcakes. And then we also have a pumpkin and pecan pie. Oh, I feel like some American viewers watching this will like this. Yeah, they haven't got any new massive cakes. I'd like to see some in the future. <laughs> Real life problems here. Um, but yes, I've had the red velvet before and I've had the vanilla rainbow cake. It was okay. Um, so how much everyone's gonna ask me? A little cake like that is uh, 20 pounds and it's also 5,680 calories. Oh, it ruins the fun, doesn't it, these calories? And we have vegan stuff, I always get asked. Doesn't look like they're specifically Christmas, um, but Dinky Donuts, I think, are the ones on this side. And then I'm not sure what brand this is, but yeah, lots of um, different ones, three pounds to five pounds. Got some traditional cupcakes there. We have got some little um, biscuits to grab. So for three pound 50, you can get a little, oh, we can get it in the lens. Uh, three pound 50 Christmas bear. And then we will have a look. They've got some made in-house mince pies. They look amazing for eight pounds. They do have different boxes as well. So yeah, you had those pre-made cakes around the other side and it looks like Fiona, Cans, cans, I don't know if I'm saying the name right. Um, that's a really cool idea. And they always have these little ones as well. It just reminds me of being a kid. I like things that are a little tea like that. Right, I probably blitz that 100 mile an hour. I'm talking really fast, sorry. But as a gift idea, there's loads of um, like little sets for like jams, condiments, things like that. I mean, cheese for toast if you want to be really fancy. Different biscuits. We call it the pantry. Uh, yeah, so there's so much to choose from, right? What is Christmas? We're here for Christmas. Look at this, Biscuit Boutique. What? That's a biscuit? Oh, wow, okay. Oh my gosh, these look really fancy. So they're cakes with like a mosaic on the front, like a picture. What? Oh my gosh, I would not. Oh, look at that one. Oh, that one should be on display. Oh my gosh, I've never really noticed. Look at these oil displays. I mean, obviously just for show. How cool is that? We've got the roastery, which I'm really struggling to say what's wrong with me. But it smells amazing. Look at that. Then you have the coffee bar, which is always crazy busy. So if you want to stop, get a croissant, a cup of tea, a cup of coffee. You can't pre-book, there's usually a little line here. I feel like it'd be rude not to show this. Oh my gosh, these donuts. <gasps> Absolutely amazing. The, uh, oh, actually, I feel like in one of my videos, did I, I got this uh, chocolate and hazelnut croissant and it was insane and it's massive. Like, versus my hand, this thing is huge. But we're here for Christmas. So we have got the Harrods Christmas Mint Pies, if I can talk. So if you want to just grab one, um, they're really big, three pounds. What else have we got? A Christmas croissant, what does that mean? It's filled with roasted almond cream and minced meat soaked in rum. Minced meat is not meat, guys. It's literally like fruit. Um, oh, let's not go into the history of what, what, what minced meat is. Um, what have we got? The brioche soaked in rum. Oh, what is that? A boss stock? I've never heard of that. And a mulberry berry donut. 
wow, I don't remember these last year. They have stepped up their game and we have another row up the top as well. Raspberry and pistachio, panettone, oh my gosh, chocolate panettone and a classic one. So yeah, you've got a little section there which is all Christmas. If you want one that maybe will travel well, you've got some Christmas cake. Oh, that's really sweet. Again, really like the packaging. How much is that? 18 pounds and then you've got bigger ones. Um, oh, I should get a really little one. <laughs> Wait, 12 pounds? I feel like I'm reading the wrong price. No, I think that is 12 pounds. Hmm, I'm not sure about that price, but anyway, as I pan round to the bakery, we're getting through this, guys. <laughs> We've got Christmas to spell out again, or stamped out again on their bread wall. Merry Christmas, it says, sorry, which is amazing. They have that every year, and a signature sourdough loaf with a big H on it is 12 pounds, is 10 pounds. Fig walnut and cranberry wreath for six pounds. Oh my gosh, I'm definitely getting one of those when I come and do a shop and then we've got a ghost cheese and walnut sourdough for six pounds. Honestly, like I don't think that's too bad. And then as I said, downstairs, uh, they have got the red packaging, which they've had for a few years. I think it still looks super, super nice and fresh. So you can get the trios of little condiments. Oh, spiced honey. That's a nice little present, isn't it, for £12? Um, and I hope I don't get this wrong, but I think quite a lot of this is available on Ocado as well. You can grab your classic mince pies. I can't wait for all the videos where people compare these foods. There's always a mince pie comparison one, usually on This Morning, the TV show. We have £10 for, I guess that's six mince pies, right? Oh, and they've got a savoury one. Maybe they've just changed the packaging. That's quite cool. Cranberry, uh, what does that say? Spiced mustard and Boxing Day chutney. That's a nice little thing. How much is that? £15. Oh wait, no I haven't, I forgot, there's this little section on the end, right, red tickets, red tickets, they're not reduced tickets either, oh my gosh, we have a truffle tart, what, a, a, a what, I don't know how to pronounce that, potato mixed with creme fraiche, truffle paste on sourdough, oh my gosh, that looks amazing, it's like pure cellulite and goodness, oh my gosh, and then you have a goat's cheese and onion tartin, tartine, is that what that is? We have truffle brioche, let me just pan down for £4.50. So yeah, you can just grab like your tongs um, and your bag, like a normal bakery. So yeah, what else is Christmas? So yeah, that is the Christmas selection in the bakery. But I would definitely recommend you can get some scones. Fruit scone is £1.50, which I think is okay. Uh, standard brioche roll for a pound. And I freaking love these olive sticks. They're so good for £2.50. And they have got Christmas displays everywhere. The wreaths, the garland, sorry, um, are a different style. They've got all these little bits of fruit and stuff in them and cinnamon sticks. It looks lovely. Speaking of which, let's go into the Fresh Market Hall. Being British, we're going to start with the ultimate Christmas baguette, which I actually bought the other day. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Um, so, yes, this is... I, a lot of people will probably call it like a Thanksgiving leftover sandwich, like maybe if you're American watching this. But we love Christmas sandwiches. It tends to have, like, um, stuffing, turkey, um, what else will it have? Cranberry sauce, for example. And then you also have it in a sandwich form for eight pounds. And then they have different sandwiches and buns and things that you can get from across the counter. So you can grab and go and maybe take them to the park. I actually had this, what was it? Yeah, a caviar and salmon croissant, I think. Did I vlog it? I think I did, yeah. Um, it was good. I had to eat it in two sittings because it was so rich. Real life problems, eh? But yeah, we've got a Christmas focaccia and then we have a brie and spice red cabbage toasty in the background. So yes, I would probably say like share these things. They're kind of good treats to take away. There isn't somewhere to like sit and eat in here. A lot of people always message me being like, is there a seating area? There isn't. Um, I would recommend maybe going to Hyde Park if it's not raining, but yeah, you can't kind of walk around the store and eat. Which I think Ruby goes without saying. But another Christmas thing, we've got a fig, melon, and palm ham salad. That looks quite good, 488 calories. Oh, maybe this is gonna be my lunch. That's quite nice. But lots of uh, different salads. I think they're all about eight quid, to be honest with you. But that is the lunch to go section. If you wanna be healthy, there's the juices and smoothie section, along with the fruit and veg. I'm just keeping my eyes peeled for anything Christmassy. I always adore this fruit display. Like, are you joking? Look at the design of this room, are you joking? This is why I keep telling people, you've gotta come in here, even if you're not buying any food, but you're gonna to wanna to buy food. Um, you got any Christmas fish? Probably not. Oh, look at that little cool bag. I've never noticed that before. That's quite fun for £20, but yes, if you want to pick up your smoked salmon and bellinis, 
take it in your little lunch box. Oh, I can see. Sorry, vegetarians. I'm going to quickly show you this stuff. You have got, oh, lots of Christmassy things. I won't talk through all of them. Pork and pancetta stuffing balls. What? Oh my god, they're huge for two pounds. I don't know. I feel like that's not too horrendous. Um, so yeah, you've got some a rack of lamb for Christmas. So yeah, it's just some standard meats that they've obviously got in. Truffled, truffled fillet of beef for ninety pounds. I wonder how heavy that is. And then you also have got. Oh, sorry, I wasn't filming the right thing. Lamb and rosemary and garlic. Devils on horseback. What are those? Um, a whole pheasant for ten pounds. Wow, and then a West Country leg of lamb. Yes, sorry vegetarians, we will get to the other bit, but I always think the display in here is really, really pretty. If you're looking for some more grab-and-go stuff, they have got a lot, so you can kind of grab your own, they call it a naan witch and wrap. There's a lot to choose from. And lots of sushi, I know that's not Christmas, but I think people are gonna get annoyed at me if I don't show you a little bit of it. But let's head on up to the beige section. Oh, actually, if you're in the store, someone messaged me the other day saying that they were gasping. You can get a bottle of water. How much is a bottle of water in Harrods? £1.60, that is smart water. Which, honestly, I don't think it's too bad because I paid like £1.90 the other day at station for one. But we're here for Christmas. If you do want to see a proper tour of this, like I said, check out my other videos. Um, but we have got some of those pies that we saw earlier on in this section as well. They haven't got as much beige stuff as usual. Maybe it's, I mean, it's a Friday morning. Um, I'm just trying to see. It doesn't look like they've got a Christmas sausage roll, but that aside, um, would definitely recommend these are five pounds. I say this every time and they are massive. You've got the standard, um, well, you've got pork, pork, apple and jam sausage roll, traditional sausage roll, onion chutney, and my favorite is the chorizo and paprika one. So for a fiver, they're really, really good value. And if you want to balance it out, <laughs> if you want to anyway, what have we got? We've got Oh my gosh, look at those salads. They look so good. Beige food is the staple of our British diet and uh, I think there's nothing wrong with that. But there is some food in here which is stunning. We will have a look again at nearer Christmas as well. Okay, my lovelies, I think that might be everything that is Christmas in here. Are there any Christmas specific cheeses? Oh, I think there might be actually. Oh my gosh, oh look at that. Uh, walnut and root. Oh gosh, I'm gonna get trolled for my pronunciation, but yes, this is a cheese lover's heaven. Oh my gosh, look at that, it looks so nice. Truffle Cremino for Christmas. They have gone all out, I've said that about five times now, but honestly, and also it doesn't smell of cheese in here, so if you hate smelling cheese, you're all right. These aren't specific for Christmas, but I have bought them before. They do different combinations of kind of different, uh, these are French cheese platters, so would highly recommend. Um, but if you want something that's a bit long lasting, I guess, you can get some, I don't know, black truffle cheddar for 12 pounds. And I'm assuming you could probably chuck that in your bag and it'd last a while, but yes. And some little anti-pasty things as well. Oh, I feel like I'm in Whole Foods. God, I say this every time. Um, I'm actually going to the dentist, I know I'm telling you this, so I can't really take hot food with me. I haven't timed this very well, but yeah, I'm just about to go and get my teeth at the um, But anyway, we've got a Boxing Day sandwich for £10. Do you see what I mean? So it is like a um, Thanksgiving. I know I have a lot of American viewers, and then you get the full Christmas lunchbox um, for £12 as well, which looks absolutely incredible, and it comes in a little card box. And you can get those stuffing that we saw, those stuffings that we just saw. Oh, it's so magical in this central bit. I feel like just going up and down. Oh, let's not fall over on the escalator. It just looks so cute. Oh, they really have put those decorations on everything. This is also why I split this vlog. You may have seen my decorations vlog um, of like the outside of the building and the windows and then this is two vlogs because there's so much to look at in here. It's not Christmas, but I just had to come up and show you the stunning roof, the ceiling on the top floor, on the fifth floor. Oh, I love it. 
Okay guys, like I say, I think I've shown you everything Christmas in here. This video could be like three hours long, so I'm going to finish it here. Make sure you're subscribed because like I said, in my last video there will be three, did I say in my last video? Maybe I didn't. There will be three vlogs, I think, maybe two vlogs, uh, Wednesday, Friday and Sunday through all of December, I hope. Where am I going? I might have uploaded these. Liberty, John Lewis, Selfridges, Fortnum Mason, afternoon tea at Harrods and coming back with my friends um, and going for some amazing Christmas lunches where we're going Harry's, May for, uh, 34 Mayfair, whatever it's called, horribly winter wonderland, Christmas markets, I will try and squeeze in as much as possible, try and get to Covent Garden, so stick around, come and uh, give me a follow on Instagram if you want to see some pictures, although I haven't really taken many pictures today, maybe I need to take some pictures, but anyway, Merry Christmas, thank you so much for making it this far in the vlog, leave a comment below places you want to see in London, um, and I will do my best, so Merry Christmas, and I will see you um, in a few days time, bye!